everyone, just wanted to share with you my um, junk journal that I made. It's been a while since I've created another one, and I really had a lot of fun with this one. I originally was going to do a travel one, but thought I would just do one of my journey um, here on YouTube. Um, it, I thought it would be really great, even though my girls will be able to look back and see my videos. I thought it would be really nice for them to see the story behind it, kind of like what inspired me to create the projects and things like that. So um, let me share with you. There's several different collections in here. I originally was just going to do um, the on um, holiday and then the paper girl collection from the girls papery that I had picked up at Tuesday morning, but found other collections that I had um, that had a lot of scraps on and just incorporated into um, this book. It turned out really thick. Um, let me just see if you guys could see here. Came out really thick, but I love um, looking at it from the side. Um, so let me show you. Um, basically, I use the Seven Gypsies cable wires. These are great, you guys. Um, when I had used it on my other mini, you could fit so many pages with um, these wires. Um, so if you haven't tried this, I would, you know, totally recommend this if you're planning to make something. As you can see, um, it, it's very thick and these wires hold it really great. So I really like these. Okay, so what I did was um, I used the chip pieces from the Paper Girl collection. So I titled them My Journey. And then I used one of the Recollection Spray. Um, this is the collection from Paper Girl. And then again, I used the suitcase die that I have. And this is my first take on um, this flower here. Rena had done a video tutorial, and I'll put her link down below um, how to create this. I think it's the Gatsby flower by Prima, and it was really fun. I used some seam binding, and this was stained with the rose tea um, from Tattered Angels, and I love it. It was really fun to uh, create, and I put this pearl that I got from Joe, and then I added these pearls also in between um, the flower. And then I added um, some Iron Roses leaves down there. And then this is another one of the Recollections flowers. And then this is using the Tim Holtz um, Movers and Shapers die. And then I add the little bird here. And, so, and then I use some brown extra large eyelets. Okay, so that's the cover. And then um, I did it this way because it, again, it's a suitcase, but my pages go this way. So here's the other side. I thought I would title it, you know, my YouTube name, you know, Live Love Scrap. So I use the chip pieces from, I think it's the On Holiday collection. So I sprayed it, uh, first painted it with the vintage white acrylic paint. Then I went over it with the rose tea. And then I went over it with the um, rock candy stickles. And then I added this little bird that I got from Michaels, and then these, my favorite um, S1015 flowers from I Am Roses. And then these are those banners, I'm not sure if you guys could see it, those banner chip pieces um, from My Road. I painted it with the vintage white, and then I distressed it. And then these um, are the paper collection from the On Holiday that um, I added on this chip piece, because they're two separate chip pieces. And then I distressed everything with a frayed burlap. So here we go. So this page, basically I used um, the Tim Holtz stamp. It's that notebook stamp die. I mean, not die, notebook stamp, rubber stamp. And so I stamped it onto some of the design paper from, um, I had a lot of scraps from my, um, my mind's eye collection. And um, so then I stamped that, and I used the um, chocolate chip um, Stampin' Up ink, because I really love the brown on that stamp ink. And then I took, um, let's see if you guys can see here, I took a couple of doilies, and I basically layered, let's see here, I got one, two, three on top of each other, and then I folded um, one third of the way, and then I made a little book out of it. And then I, um, distressed it with a frayed burlap and I sprayed it with the rose tea 
and then this is a recollections flower then I used some of the stickers from either the girls paper or on, on holiday collection and then added some more and these die cuts again are from the girls papery I think it's the, the paper girl and then it says live love create because it they didn't have one that said scrap so I just put live love create and then add another iron roses flower um, this one is a little bird cage and it says so it's love I love antique and vintage so that's what I did there and then this one says pretty gorgeous you know roses I think they're really pretty and that's all I did just made it really super simple and then the back side um, because um, I think it's is this double sided yeah I think the paper is double sided um, I add just a die cut piece right here onto the back here and then this is a clear um, those clear sheets from AccuCut and I just basically cut it one of the pages with the clear sheet and then I add I didn't really add anything here because I like how you could see it the other page through this part right here so I just added my favorite frog feathers trim on one side and then I add again another color love this one I think this is the mocha one onto the other side and I just love how you could see the other pages through so if you turn it this way you could see this page right here and then you flip it this way you could see this page right here and then this one is just from the bow bunny collection I bought that um, noteworthy pack it came with journal pages and uh, transparency and I just kept the packaging and then I just added one of the journal pages and I glued it on to here um, but I already had these pre-punched holes and then I just put here love birds and then I add this bird um, I believe it's from Kane Company it's the flora and fauna collection and then I just use the chip pieces this is one of the charms and then I added a scrabble piece on top of the B. and then the back page I just glued another journal page and then I cut this image off of a design paper and then this page right here this is a pocket and basically covered it with the um, on holiday paper and then this is using this um, Tim Holtz mini uh, movers and shapers labels and I use the design paper and then I add this beautiful charm from um, Bow Bunny and then inside a number eight tag and this is actually from I think it's a cut and paste collection and then I add some seam binding I just grab just a bunch of stuff that I really like that I felt would you know look kind of nice in this um, journal here okay I'll put that later and then I just adhered a bingo card to the back of that and then I had um, this is from the paper girl and it spells out lucky if you guys could see it because it kind of went well with the whole bingo thing and then this is another I incorporated a lot of these little pages because that's where I'm going to basically put all my journaling in and then I added a little die cut right here and then this is from a um, digital image that I got from Betty and I love this page this is using my AccuCut die it's the uh, um, shadow box portrait die um, basically the paper collection I used was cut and paste and I got these cute little stickers from Michaels I think it's from Recollections and so I put that on top where it says dream and the cute little birds on top and then I added a die cut from the paper girl to make the closure so this flap here which is part of the die it just basically tucks in there and then when you open it up I put a little dress form in there and this is also um, my AccuCut dress form die and then this is a frog feathers trim 
I just cut out one of the flowers and made it as my dress and then added some lace. I basically just put the lace upside down because the scallop kind of made the curve of the top of the dress. I'm sure you guys could see that. And then I added um, another iron roses. I add a bunch of these in my journal because I love these. And then I cut this image out and then I just add some trim down here. I made this um, plain because I like the stripes. So I kept it simple. And that way it's less kind of less bulk into the journal. So I laid it like that. So it just closes like that. And then I adhered the actual die cut to the page. And then this is part of the girls' papery. Okay, and then this page, this is the on holiday page. I love this page. I basically add some of this vintage trim my mom gave me. And I added a little pocket here add some of the coordinating tags that go with the collection and then this cute luggage die cut and then these are these beautiful I love the calla lilies this is one of my all-time favorites um, next to roses um, my favorite flower I love these and then I add some seam binding I just basically wrapped it and I got these from Jan so thank you Jan I love these and then um, this is the seam binding that I had um, shared in my video. So I used up those. And then this right here, I got this from Olga. Hi, Olga. She had participated in a tag swap that Stephanie had hosted. And I love this from her. I love the fact that she took some of this clear plastic sheet and sewed it onto some to a dictionary page and her tag was beautiful and it was just perfect because it just talks about beauty and I love it says as long as we have memories yesterday remains as long as we have hope tomorrow awaits as long as we have art today is beautiful and I just thought it fit perfect um, for my journal and she also gave this beautiful charm so I hung that on there and I just, I love this. She made another one that, um, that was um, in another swap that Stephanie hosted and I kept, that one's in my room because that one's another beautiful one she made. And then this one, oh, these are some flowers that she also gave. And then I add this Recollections flowers there. And then I just adhered one of these die cuts from King Company. Here's another tag. Um, that um, I just adhered some it's a butterfly garden collection I love this birdcage so it fit perfect and then it says postcard there and then I adhered some more design paper from the girls papery and then added a dimensional sticker this was part of that bird that dreams sticker and then here's another journal page I love this prima stamp of this bird Really, I love the fact that it's not the whole body of the bird. It looks distressed. So I stamped that with some um, Versafine ink in purple. And then I add some Prima trim here. And then here I added a die cut of this cute little bicycle. And then this, if you guys remember this, this was one of my piece by piece projects. I basically just took the back and I just adhered it to this page. I love this. And so I thought, you know, I might as well just incorporate it in my book. So I actually took out the spool because it got too thick on the book. So I removed it out, um, but the rest I kept the same. And so I used that as one of my pages, and I like it. And then this is um, also the girls' papery paper. This page was really fun. Um, I took a musical note sheet and I just basically crumpled it up and I just dressed it and then I tore it. Then I adhered it to this page. Um, and then I took one of the packagings and I kept it. And all I did was hook this chain onto this part of the packaging. And this is part of the die cut. And then uh, for the girls' papery, and I just um, added the bird on here and then one of the cute little buttons from the package and then just hung it on the chain 
and then I added this beautiful birdcage digi image from Betty. So the bird, you know, is part of this birdcage. And then I painted just some parts of this packaging with the vintage white. And then I stamped this lace um, from the, my Prima stamp. And then I added some lace here. And then this, my favorite trim, this leaves trim. And the Iron Roses flower. And I, I love this page. It's my favorite from this whole thing. I, I just like how the chain dangles. It's pretty cool. And then this page right here, um, these are those Maya Road canvas tags. So what I did was I basically um, just, for this one, I added the die cuts from the, the girls' papery and the Iron Roses flower. I took one of the curly flowers and just folded it in half to make the feather. And then I got this beautiful flower from Carleen. Hi, Carleen, and um, added it right there. This one right here, I stamped a Tim Holtz um, stamp that I have using the walnut stain um, distress stain. So I, I rubbed that onto the rubber stamp and then stamped it on the canvas. And then this is a My Road envelope. I added some of the girls' papery trim and then one of the die cut clocks and then I added a Tim Holtz, um, one of the spinners on here. And then so the back of that, I add one of these frames that I got from Michaels. I kept, I just glued this part of it. I didn't glue the top part so I could stick my photo inside. And then add some Prima uh, flowers here. I have the Prima Recollections and then a Recollections, um, one of these uh, bobble things with the butterfly inside. And then here's another Digi image. And then I add another one of these burrs, and then this is from that frog feathers trim that I just recently got. The ones with the, um, I think there's what, six petals, little flowers here. And then another die cut, and I love these little flowers that I got from Joe. So I added on the top of the frame. And then here's another journal page, um, stamped again from my Prima stamp. And then the back I add just a die cut right here. And then this is from um, my AccuCut die. I add one of these um, flowers I did a tutorial on using this material. And then I layered it with some Recollections flowers. And then I took three of the um, Iron Roses flowers and ran it through these two flowers. And then I just bundle it together. Kind of like how it looks, the three of them together. And then this is a flora and fauna collection from Kane Company, and I love the glitter on this page. This is my favorite um, page from that whole collection. And then here's um, a bow bunny from one of the um, design papers. And then I add this really beautiful vintage piece that I got from my mom. I love it and um, it just fit perfect onto this page. And these are my favorite, these vintage bags. So I had to incorporate one of these in here and it fit perfect as far as the size wise. And then I just painted the bag, stamped it a little bit, add some flowers, add a journal spot. Love this um, camera from the die cut pieces from On Holiday. And then I added a Prima lace here. And then I'm going to put maybe a letter or something inside here. And then on this page, I just basically took some muslin material and I stained it with my Lindy Stamp Gang Moonshadow Mist. And then I just added one of these design papers from um, Glitz Designs. And then I cut out one of the butterflies from the design paper and just adhered it on top. And I love this. It says, a journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. So true. And then I add some more frog feathers trim. And then these beautiful pearls that I got from Carla. Here's another one of those um, journal pages from the Tim Holtz stamp. And then I add a cute little camera here. 
And then this page, this is from the Glitz um, Designs um, die cuts. I love it because it says, smile, um, wait, it says, smile like everything is going your way even if it isn't. And it's so true. And then I cut out one of these cupcakes from my basic gray collection. And then this is um, a cute little bird that was from that sticker from Recollections. And then this page, this is a tag. Um, it's a um, number eight tag. And then I layered it with some design paper. And then I, I forgot which collection this was. And then I add this digi tag that I got um, from an Etsy store. And then I add some more of the S10 flowers in the brown and the white. And then I wrapped it with some twine. Then I add some seam binding on top. And then this is, again, one of the charms. I just hung it on a, um, gosh, what is, I forgot the name of these pins, the Making Memories pins. And then this is some lace tape that I got from Carleen. Love this stuff. It makes it so easy to just add to your pages. And then here's another page. I just, just spelled out a door from the die cuts. Add one of the cute little dress form from the die cut pieces. And then this tag is from Fancy Pants. It's the Little Things collection. And then this is a Recollections flower. And then this page, this is from Melissa Francis, this design paper. And then again, um, the lace tape put down here. And I love this. I got this from Michael's. Uh, my mom had given it to me. It comes in a whole huge roll, and it was just plain white. And I love to use it as a valance. Um, so what I did was I sprayed it with the rose tea and then I um, distressed it um, with my frayed burlap. And then I add a bird and then I add some seam binding and then that cute button from the girls paper. -y. And then here's another vintage tag um, that I got from an Etsy store. Really pretty. And then this is a Kane Company tag. I basically took a heart doily and I only glued the center part of this heart part right here down to the page so you could see it and then I add another um, die cut on top of that and then I add a butterfly on top of that so all the pieces basically fold in half so heart folds in half, the heart folds in half and then the butterfly folds in half so it kind of gives it dimension so I thought that was fun. And then I add some seam binding and then a white extra large eyelid on top. And then this is part of the girls' papery collection. And then this is from the Glitz design, one of the die cuts. And then here's another um, stamped journal page. And then I love this 45 cent sale tag from the girls' papery. And another Iron Roses flower. And I thought it'd be fun to add these packages from the Simplicity, you know, because I usually just get it for the, the pattern to, you know, make flowers or whatever with them. And I thought it'd be fun to incorporate the packaging. I got this from a rack, and so I just punched the holes, and you can use that as a pocket. And then here's another page. Again, this frog feathers trim. I love this. It's a really huge flower. Add some of these flowers I got from Jan. This is another clock die cut, and then I love these clear buttons. And then the last page, this is from the On Holiday. Then I cut these little journal note tags. Um, I got this design paper from Green Tangerine, and I just cut them out, and they did, went perfect with this paper. And then I took another one of the tags and then just glued it down, just the L-shaped part of it so I could stick the tags in. And then I add some lace here so it stuck out at the end. Oh, I'm sorry, can you guys see that? So it stuck out on the end right here. And then this frog feathers trim. 
and this butterfly I got from um, Jan. And then this is a Maya Road dress form um, canvas piece that I got from Green Tangerines. And I took this Prima, um, it's a template that I basically placed on top of this and then I took the vintage white paint and painted over it. And I got that from, I bought it from Jan. Oh, not Jan, sorry, from Jen, Blue Teach Create. And then um, it makes a really cute pattern. You guys can see the pattern. And then I just add some seam binding and then one of the girls' papery buttons and then a butterfly from Recollections. And I didn't do anything to the back because I thought it'd be really fun to write on this. So I'm going to write something on the back of here. And then that's, this I kept blank. I'm doing, I just tied some... Um, tool on it. Really simple. I got this tool from my daughter Ariana. Really cute. I love it. And then um, just this paper from On the Hol on Holiday. From the girls paper. Aid. So that's it. Um, as you can see it's super super thick. Really super fun um, to create and I love how it you know it all turned out and stuff and as you can see these these wires are awesome. I mean, as you can see here, I could still have a ton of room to fit at least two or three more pages. And so um, I had super um, fun making this book here. So thanks everyone for watching. Bye.